Toddlers are just beginning to use and understand language, so they have a much more limited vocabulary than adults, and they're pretty easily frustrated. So when you combine those two things, a tantrum is the likely outcome. The first thing that I think to keep in mind with uh, really any sort of um, issue in toddlers is to make sure that your child is well rested and not hungry. So kids who are tired and hungry um, just really have a hard time managing their emotions and managing their reactions. When possible, give them choices. Kids are really striving for independence at this age, and so if we can allow them some choice in their life, do you want to read before you get in the bath or after you get in the bath? Do you want to have the strawberry shampoo or the pineapple shampoo? Incorporate them in the process by giving them some choices about the things that they have to do. Another way to uh, prevent a tantrum from occurring is to really think carefully before you give a toddler a no answer. As adults, we're prone to just quickly say no because it's a convenience for us. We don't want to have to go out and get the Play-Doh set up for our toddler, so we'll say no. But it's really important to stop and think before you say no and, and really think, why am I saying no to this and is this something I can say yes to? It's important for kids to hear no answers sometimes, but if they hear a lot more yeses, it'll be easy for them to accept those no's when they do happen. So this is a hard thing to do, but the best thing that parents can do is to ignore the tantrum. The kid is frustrated, and that's okay, and what they need to do is just get themselves calm. Trying to tell a child to calm down is often counterproductive, and if adults think about when they're frustrated or irritated or angry, and another adult tells them to calm down, that often doesn't result in calming, that results in more anger. It's the same for kids. Uh, we just need to let the tantrum ride out, um, and then when it ends, uh, praise calming down. One thing that parents should try to avoid doing is giving into the tantrum. So if the tantrum resulted from being told no, don't change that to yes. If the tantrum resulted from uh, being given an instruction that they didn't want to do, don't do the instruction for the, the child. Uh, we really want to let the, the child be frustrated, get calm, and then try again. If tantrums are interfering with daily life, it, it might be a sign to get some extra help. So if you're not getting out the door in time every single morning, you're late for work because your child's having a tantrum, or if bedtime is very delayed because of tantrums, or if dinner's being interrupted on a regular basis, that's probably time to seek out some extra help.